In this part, I want to talk about uh, programs and features in Control Panel. If I go into Programs and Features, I can see a list of installed programs here. Normally, you can install a program you are using its installer package, for example, an NSI package or the executive setup file. You can just select that and start installing that program. But when you install the program, you can go to Programs and Features and see the list of installed programs. Sometimes you may see a long list of items that you do not even recognize what they are used for. You do not need to touch it. You just uh, uh, go and uh, you know watch the list and see if something is there that you do not want it. And if you want to install it, uninstall it, you can just do this. For example, I have Acrobat Reader on the system. I no longer need it. I can just go and highlight it. And as you can see, for any software uh, in my toolbar, I may see different options. Here I can see uninstall and change. By changing, I can add or remove some features to this program. Uh, by uninstalling, I can just remove this program from my system. Or assuming that I have uh, Autodesk Revit, I can go to select it. And as you can see again, I have some other option here. Uninstall and change, both are the same program. I may see, for example, WinRare here. I can just see uninstall here. So if I want to remove some program from here, I can just go and select it and click on uninstall. But before doing this, I can see uh, some attributes of the software. If I go to make it a little wider, I can see that this is from Adobe System Incorporated. It is installed in this state. It has uh, you know, occupied about this size of my hard disk. And this version is the version of my software. And of course, some uh, freeze items can be seen in uh, the details pane of this program uh, and features window. I just want to uninstall this. I just go and click on uninstall and click on yes. And the program is going to open its custom uninstaller and uninstall the software and this is quite easy but based on the software that you are uninstalling it may take a long time or it may take just a few seconds but that's it now you can see that it is removed from the list of installed programs so what about the updates if you have installed some windows updates and you can see that windows update is here if i go to windows update i can change the setting see what update is here you can see that it is managed by system administrator i cannot open this if i want to open it i need to uh, open it as an administrator but you can see that install updates automatically is selected so whenever i am connected to internet it is going to you know download the latest installs from microsoft website and install it on its uh, you know operating system now you can see that one important update is available. I can download and install it. Let me go back here in programs and features. If I have installed updates, I can go to view installed updates and see the list of installed updates here. Again, I can select these and as you can see, I can uninstall these updates as well. If I feel, for example, one of these updates is, uh, you know, taking my computer, um, you know, uh, it's damaging my computer. I told you. I can just select it and uninstall it. And the last part of this is Windows features. If I click on this, I can see a list of Windows features. I want to make it a little wider. And I can see that the list of features contains a, a long list. And I can, of course, see legacy templates as well. If I open this, I can see some items that are not active in Windows 10, but they are you know, still there if I want to have them. So I can select language packs. You can see all of these are here. If I have a check besides these, they are going to be installed. If I remove the check, they are going to be removed. I can select to have Hyper-V for a virtualization, for example. I can install different versions of .NET Framework and Telnet Client, Telnet Server, and things like this. All of them can be selected from this list. If I want to install it, just uh, select it. For example, I want to have Telnet client. I click on this, I click on OK, and it is going to be installed in a few seconds. That's it. You do not need to have the Windows, uh, you know, 
PVD. Everything is right there. You do not need to have very, you know, you do not need to have, you know, a specific customization for this, except those that you need to know about when working with.